Camellia again. With me today is Stella, my little princess. Very smart, but a little bit stubborn. Aww. <laughs> stubborn, but adorable. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, just kidding. Well, so Stella, what have you been doing? Where have you been hiding? I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> Don't talk about that. I haven't been back from the hell. How was the hell? I quit my job. You quit a job? What happened? Oh my goodness. You'd better quit your job. <laughs> so come to the heaven. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So Stella, mm -hmm. do you know what we're going to do today? Well, I have no idea. You have no idea? Well, in today's lesson, we we'll learned a lot of useful expressions to describe people. Wow, that's quite interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But let me start by asking you, mm -hmm. how would you describe yourself? <laughs> well... No, positive. Course. Use three positive adjectives to describe yourself. Only three. If I have a chance <laughs> to pick up three adjectives to describe myself, the first word is intelligent. Are you one. sure? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, sociable hmm. and humorous. Yeah. And people have people always say that I I am kind of sociable person. Mm -hmm. I'm really into going out and have a chit chat with my friends, mm -hmm. make friends with strange people. Mm -hmm. I am kind of party person. Oh, you love partying, huh? Yeah. Okay, cool. I love partying too. <laughs> I'm a kind of social butterfly. Yeah. Oh, social butterfly? What does this mean? You don't know that expression? Yeah, I don't know about it. Oh, okay. Just leave it. Oh. <laughs> don't worry. I'll tell you later. No rush. Okay. okay. So. I also have a question for you. Mm, so really? How do you describe yourself with one negative adjective? Why negative? Why not positive? I have a lot of positive qualities. Okay, I just want to hear the negative. Oh, negative? <laughs> Alright, negative. Well, let me see. Oh, it's a kind of very tough question. <laughs> More needle. <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Yeah, um... I'm kind of impatient guy. Yeah. yeah, I really want to achieve something as soon as possible. And sometimes I just feel like I feel pressure and hassle and annoyed, irritated because I haven't got what I want. <laughs> yeah, so I often like scream and shout if I don't have anything. Okay, or if I haven't achieved something. <laughs> I got it. Okay, yeah, all right, so stop chichati. <laughs> Let's go back to our lesson today. Well, today, I and Stella are going to teach you seven commonly used expressions to describe people. As you may know, you guys often use adjectives to describe people's personality or characters. But today, we're going to use nouns, okay, to describe people's characters. Are you ready? All right, so let's start with the first one. Happy, go, lucky. Happy go lucky? This is the first time I heard this phrase. Yeah, so what comes into your mind when you first hear this expression? The word happy. I know it. I know <laughs> what it means. Okay. So I, I guess uh, this, is the pers the, this person may be cheerful, mm -hmm. positive, mm -hmm. and happy. Wow, good guess. How smart she is, right? <laughs> Alright, so happy go lucky is an expression that is used to describe a person who remains very positive, cheerful, blissful all the time. He or she doesn't care much about future. What will be, will be. What happens, will happen. Yeah, okay. So do you know anyone who is a happy-go-lucky guy? That is, that is a woman who works in, at every school. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm at school, I always, I can't stop I can't stop looking at her mm -hmm. and smiling. Mm -hmm. She makes me relaxed and calm. Mm -hmm. So uh, every trouble is out of my mind. Okay. All right. That's great. So it's best to make friends with happy-go-lucky guys, right? <laughs> so then we can be happy all the time. Good job. Again, happy-go-lucky, carefree, cheerful, and blissful people. And the next is go-getter. Go-getter. Oh, let me guess. <laughs> uh, this one is here to describe a person who stands up, goes somewhere to get something. <laughs> yes. What a good guess. Okay. All right. Um, mm. Go getter is a person 
who always try their best at all costs to do something. And do you know anybody who is a go-getter? Oh, so do you mean by go-getter? Uh, go-getter means somebody who is very goal-oriented. Yeah, he or she does his or her best mm -hmm. to achieve something, to achieve success, or achieve his or her goals. Right? Yeah. All right. Go-getters. <laughs> Actually, I uh, I don't know anyone who is a go-getter. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of go-getters outside. <laughs> All right, but uh, to me, in order to be successful, a business or a company must hire a lot of go-getters. Because if their employees are goal-oriented or uh, they stick to the goals, the company will achieve success definitely. Okay, so the company will be better off if. They have many go-getters. Yeah, any employees who are hardworking and go-oriented, yeah, stick sure, to the goals sure. to achieve success. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So right now, I have a question for you. Sure. Do you just remember the phrase "social butterfly"? <laughs> so social butterfly. Yes. Ah, the one yeah. I mentioned previously. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you have a guess? Okay. Let me see. A uh, butterfly mm -hmm. is. A colorful insect, mm -hmm. which is very graceful mm -hmm. and charming. Mm -hmm. So it flits, it's always flits on flower to flower to collect nectar. Mm -hmm. So social is an adjective to describe a person who is friendly mm -hmm. and he or she he or she likes. Going out with friends, mm -hmm. hanging out with people, mm -hmm. and making new friends. Okay, excellent. <laughs> All right. So, social butterfly is often used to describe girls or women. Just girls. In a butterfly you've just mentioned is a kind of very colorful insect. So, just imagine a girl or a woman often likes dressing up. You know. Going to the party to have some fun, and of course, she's a kind of friendly, uh, easy to talk to. Uh, she loves meeting new people and hanging, hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. yep. So I also have a, a friend. Yeah. She likes. She's really into dressing up, yeah. hanging out with people. So maybe from that time, we call her a social butterfly. <laughs> sure, you do. Good job. <laughs> yes. The next one is armchair critic. Armchair critic. Yes. This one sounds strange to me. Oh, let me break it down. Yeah. Uh, we have the word armchair and the word critic. Yeah. Well, armchair is a comfortable chair we can sit on when we want to relax after hard work. And critic refers to a person who always criticizes other people for their wrongdoings or for the mistakes. And they normally like give unpleasant remarks or comment. Yeah. Okay. About other people's work. Yeah. So what do you have? You? <laughs> what does it mean? Armchair critic is a person who likes giving advice in theory. In fact, he or she doesn't have or just have a little bit practical experience. Yeah. So that means this person spends a lot of time using computer mm -hmm. or reading book. Yeah. And he or she actually doesn't have any real life experience, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, he's all about like uh, theory and no, no practice, practice, right? Okay, cool, <laughs> yep. So do you know anybody who is an um, ultra critic? Oh, a friend of mine, mm -hmm. yeah, my university friend. She always acts like she's an expert on art, you know? Mm -hmm. um, she uh, gives me a lot of information about art, mm -hmm. And actually, she doesn't have any paintings at all. Oh, you know? Idea. Yeah. She's kind of an armchair critic. <laughs> yeah. So, what about the next phrase? The next one is a um, busy body. Busy body. Busy body. Busy body. Oh, can you I have a the, guess? I know the two words here. <laughs> busy, as a bee, body. Okay. Our body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me guess. Can you have a guess? Have a guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this person always busy? <laughs> and they have a lot of things to do? It's not that easy. <laughs>
it's not that simple. Yeah. Well, busybody refers to a person who is too interested in other people's private lives. And you know, this person always like sticks their nose into somebody else's business. And do you know any kind of nosy neighbors or nosy persons? That drives you crazy all the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is a woman. Uh huh. My neighbor. Uh -huh. She's always ask me a lot of private questions. Yeah. Yeah. For example, she uh, whenever she come over my house, she ask me how my <laughs> how my ex boyfriend is. Uh huh. How my new boyfriend <laughs> is. And how much can I earn every month? Oh really? Okay, She's so kind of nosy and meddlesome person. Yeah. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> You're sick and tired of her, right? Okay, I'm sick of it. Totally sick of it. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Camelia, do you know Adolf Hitler? Sure. Yeah, he's a world famous fascist. Yeah. So if you have two words to describe him, so how did you choose? What did you choose? I would choose cruel and rigid. <laughs> so today I will give you a brand new phrase. Mm -hmm. Stickler for the rules. Oh, stickler for the rules. Okay. okay. Stickler for the rules is a person who has a set of regulations and disciplines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means this person always sticks to the rules and follow them very strictly yeah, when yeah. they do things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, do you know anybody who is kind of who is kind of personality? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't want to, you know, tell bad things about my boss. But yeah, just an example. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my former boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's an stickler for the rules. Yep. Yeah, uh, he has a set of very strict rules and regulations and he always makes sure that all employees have to follow or obey his rules. Uh, anyone who is late for work will have their salary deducted. <laughs> oh my goodness, so very strict. Yep. Saying goodbye to stick love for rules, we have all talk, no action. <laughs> can you have a guess? Okay, let me see. Mm. This person keeps talking a lot, mm -hmm. promising a lot, but have no action. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so this one reminds me of Donald Trump, mm -hmm. US president. Do you like him? Do you know I, Donald Trump? I prefer Obama. <laughs> okay, well, Donald Trump once said, politicians are all talk and no action. He expressed his disappointment uh, towards other former politicians who promised, who promised a lot, but mm, haven't done anything at all to improve the economy of the country. Yep. <laughs> so we have all talk and no action yeah. to describe somebody who promises a lot but failed to do what he promises to do. Okay. Well, let's do a recap. <laughs> Number one, we have happy go lucky. Number two, I'm cheerful. Number three, busy body. And number four, go getter. Number five, social butterfly. Number six, stickler for rules. And the last one, number seven, all talk and no action. <laughs> okay, I hope that you guys find this video useful and share what you have learned today with your friends. Okay, bye. See, See you next time. Hello, welcome to NV Schools channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please click the subscribe button to get the most up-to-date video. And if you have any questions, please leave the comments below.